another important concept of the central limit theorem, which is um, basically says that in some limit of largeness, namely when you take a random variable and form the mean or the sum of lots of random numbers, which we're implicitly doing when we're doing the histogram, because we're forming the sum over every event of the probability that event turns up heads. So that's, we can think of the counts as a sum over many random variables. And then the central limit theorem says, those random variables, when you sum over enough of them, are always distributed with this Gaussian or normal distribution. Then we've shown that both uh, empirically by generating these count distributions and showing that they actually agree with the, with the Gaussian distribution, which was the red curves, we plotted on lots of our um, results. Uh, this is the same thing being done by uh, Wikipedia. Um, and here, the, you start off with a, a dice which has uh, six possible uh, sides. Then if you just toss the dice once and write down the probability of seeing the number one, two, this, you just take the number on the dice, then you will have equal probability of being from one to six. And that probability is one six. Now we toss it twice, that's this one here. And we add the numbers on the dice, so that's the number between two and 12. And you get some plot which is peaked in the middle and falls off either side. Uh, here at the bottom, we have n of 3. Now the number goes up to 18, n of 4 and n of 5. And here you can now see actually this rather pretty bell-shaped curve, which I can't do very well with my highlighter. But that's your Gaussian distribution, showing that even for five dices, the total score on the, on the, on the faces is well given by a Gaussian distribution. And here it's not easy to see, you'd have to go to the Wikipedia article. You can see that this is the, the solid curve is the Gaussian, expected Gaussian distribution centered on the mean. And the various other curves of different colors and different um, dashing of the, of the line, these correspond to the, um, what you get from the dice. The last uh, um, figure here also comes from Wikipedia, and it basically says exactly what we've uh, done already. That um, if you take, this is the example we did with, uh, well actually this example is exactly what we did. Of, um, well not quite exactly, but very similar. We have, uh, we're plotting um, various sample sizes. We're taking the mean value of that sample sizes, and and we here we have 250 sample distributions. Uh, the mean is 50, and you can see that we have here a pretty good Gaussian distribution about that value of 50. And even for n of 30, it's not quite as good, but it's still pretty Gaussian. In fact, um, these are the, this is the uh, thing done numerically, which is what we demonstrated actually with our Python code. Here is the actual, uh, the equivalent of our red curve, the, get the normal distribution for this example. And uh, there's some measure of quality called chi-squared, which is good if it's less than one, and these all have good chi-squares. So this says again, when you do uh, something many times and you add things up, uh, you will get Gaussian distributions. Um, so that's um, the end of this uh, lecture. And uh, next time we will go on to a totally different topic, that of e-commerce, where we'll study how to match people to books and music and things like that. Uh, thank you very much.